All right, so this video is uh, how I check compression um, at L6. Uh, um, now there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. You can open up the butterflies. Uh, you can soak the, the pistons with oil. Um, you can heat up the engine. You can turn it on, heat it up, which expands the uh, expands the pistons to give you a better um, a, a better compression rate or whatever. But I don't do any of that. All I do is spray some stable oil um, inside all cylinders just to make sure they're lubricated, j just to get a baseline for what's going on. So that's what we're doing here. And you want to make sure that you get a good gauge, not like a, <clears throat> a cheap gauge. Uh, anything less than a hundred dollars is a cheap gauge, just to clarify. And you know, I don't want to throw any manufacturers under the bus or anything like that. But the, the only thing I use is Mac and Snap on gauges because they give the most accurate reading. So that's what this video is all about. Okay, so t today's video, <clears throat> I got two, uh, I believe, 1987, 88, uh, 115s, and we're going to do a, a compression test just to check out, see what's going on here. Of course, a uh, black label everything, but you can tell by the, the color going through here that it's an 87, 88. So, all right, so compression test, let's go. Okay, so I have all the spark plugs uh, undone. And, and looking down the cylinder, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but the, these uh, pistons are very, very dirty. Um, so all these zip ties is ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's one cord loose. So I'll figure it out but the uh, premise of today is to figure out what is going on with the uh, compression on this engine so that's what it's going to be all right so the problem i have <clears throat> is that every single cylinder is uh filthy it's covered in carbon so what that means to me is that the rings might be stuck inside the engine um I do have a boroscope, which I can look into, but I, you know what, I'm not, not going to do all that because I already know the, the rings are stuck, so we're going to have to have some uh, ring free or some engine tuner, so, but without that, you know, <laughs> with all that being said, I'm just going to run a, a flat line compression test just so I know exactly where this engine is health-wise and then tune it, okay? Alright, so we're about to do the compression test on all of these cylinders. Oh my gosh, let me see here. All right, I'm turning the flywheel. All right. Okay, so let me get a flashlight. <clears throat> you know, just so you can see the carbon buildup. Well, it's hard to hold a phone. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, this is not working out as planned. Okay, so I cannot get that. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, I can definitely see the carbon buildup, but you guys can't. Alright. <sighs> you know, whatever. Alright, we're going to do a compression test. Okay, so I'm going to use a sable fogging oil. Just to make sure these uh, cylinders are uh, a little lubricated, for sure.
Okay, all right, so, so everything's lubricated. So now we are ready for the compression test. Key thing is you want to make sure all of the spark plugs are grounded on the uh, power head here. Yeah. Alright, so let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, so we are videoing. Malaya is, is doing the videoing. Okay, alright, so we're going to test the compression number one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about 144 on, on the uh, top cylinder here. Mm -hmm. okay. so I'm going to down the notepad because I'm bad with memory. Okay, and now we're going to the cylinder number two. I'll tell you what, if these rings weren't stuck, the compression would be <laughs> probably a lot higher. But, I mean, long story short, the person that, that, that sold, sold the boat to uh, whoever I bought off said these engines d did not run, which clearly they definitely run. Okay. All, right. <clears throat> All right, so number two. Okay, so here we go. I have to hook this onto here. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. One forty four. Yep. Yep. One forty four. So we'll lock that again. So the guy selling it um, obviously did not know what he had unless we get down to the bottom of the cylinder and it's dead. But that's two. So we're going to go to number three. Yeah, but this is how you, you perform a compression test. Just a little bit of oil. It's cold. I did not, uh, you know open the uh, throttle or anything like that. I, I just want a baseline. Okay, so now we're going to number three. Okay, I'm gonna use my Mac gauge. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to number three. Hopefully there's no surprises. Come on, man. Mm. Okay, I am definitely having it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the key and hold hold this at the same time. All right, so number three cylinder. Here we go. <laughs> One forty two. We'll do it again. Came at one forty, so we're going to count that down as one one forty one. Okay, so let's go to the next cylinder. Three left. The guy 
that said, uh, it did not run, but I don't know. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Okay, so now we're on cylinder number four. Okay, so that's the, uh, the gauge there. Six. I'm gonna do it again. One forty-five. There we go. This engine has turned out to be very strong. Okay, so now we got five and six. I see my notepad. Okay, so we're doing five and six, and just see what the compression is. But it's looking good so far. So let's see. I don't want any surprises. Okay, here we go. Um, this. Okay, so you're coming back this way. Alright, so we have cylinder number five. Okay. And we are going to test cylinder number five. Let's try it again. Here we go. One forty-six. One four six. Okay, so now we have to test the last cylinder and uh Again, I don't like surprises. And the last cylinder is very difficult to get to, so we're gonna. We're definitely gonna do this. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so what we need is no surprises. Let's do just uh, one more time. One 
Tests out very well. This end is very strong, even though it's carbon build up. You need the rings free, so I mean, we're averaging around 145 compression all, on all six cylinders. And once the rings get loose, I would imagine this uh, 115 would jump up to 150 to 160, but it's definitely in great condition. And I, you know, I definitely appreciate you guys for watching, but th this is the uh, compression test that uh, we do at L6 and um, you know thank you guys I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, happy budding <laughs>